locker room buzzed with anticipation as Lu Sheng and Lu Qiming hurriedly dressed. Lu Qiming couldn't contain his relief that their instructor had skipped paper checks today, but beneath his facade of relief lurked a fear, a fear of the impending dual exercise, where their lack of physical fitness might be exposed. Meanwhile, Lu Sheng exuded a quiet confidence, a silent acknowledgement of his newfound strength and prowess. Lu Qiming's eyes widened in disbelief as he caught sight of Lu Sheng's rippling muscles. It had been mere days since they last met, yet the transformation was staggering. Even Lu Sheng himself couldn't deny the remarkable change, noting with amusement that even his hair seemed to have grown in tandem with his muscles, prompting a mental note to schedule a trim. Little did he know, Lu Qiming was already concocting theories about Lu Sheng's intentions, convinced that he was gearing up to flaunt his newfound strength during the practical combat lesson. Amidst the chatter and rustling of clothes, Lu Sheng's thoughts raced. This was his moment to measure his progress against his peers, to see just how far he had come. In the midst of the circle, their practical combat instructor, Zhang Zhenguo, stood, unraveling the intricacies of combat techniques they had previously discussed in class. His authoritative voice filled the room as he demonstrated each move with precision and grace. Beside him, Lu Qiming leaned in towards Lu Sheng, his voice hushed as he whispered about their instructor's impressive credentials. Did you know, he murmured, that instructor Zhang is a rank 2 martial artist? Those scars on his hands? They're from battles against monsters in the field. Lu Sheng nodded, absorbing the information as he silently contemplated the depth of his own progress. The techniques he had mastered and the experiences he had gained led him to believe that instructor Zhang's approach was somewhat simplistic and ripe for refinement. As if on cue, instructor Zhang called upon the class's top student, Yang Yifei, to demonstrate the techniques they had just discussed. The air crackled with anticipation as all eyes turned towards Yifei, eager to witness his mastery in action. As Yifei stepped into the spotlight, a wave of admiration swept through the classroom, particularly among the girls. Their eyes sparkled with admiration as they whispered amongst themselves about his striking appearance and impressive skills. Thoughts of infatuation danced in their minds as they giggled and exchanged knowing glances, unable to resist his charm and allure. Meanwhile, Lu Qiming couldn't help but feel a pang of bitterness as he observed Yifei's effortless grace and prowess. The unfairness of the world weighed heavily on him, knowing that Yifei not only possessed wealth but also had access to the finest resources for martial arts development. The thought gnawed at him, fueling a sense of resentment and envy. As the duel commenced between Yifei and the instructor, the rest of the students watched in awe and dismay. Their minds raced with questions of how Yifei could possibly improve upon such perfection. Yet amidst the collective wonder, Lu Sheng remained singularly focused. His only desire was to pit his own strength and progress against the very best in the class. Uncertainty gnawed at him as he wondered whether he would emerge victorious or be defeated by Yifei's formidable skill. The instructor is advising Yifei on how to improve his technique by focusing on balance, and next, he will be asking other students to practice with him. Yifei, egoistic and full of himself, thinks, what does this martial artist think of himself trying to advise me and telling me what to do? He is nothing, and I have a bright future. He can only be an instructor at this small school. Now, the instructor is looking for a volunteer to duel with Yifei. But everyone else is afraid, lacking the strength or capability to face him. Even Lu Qiming is scared and avoids eye contact with the instructor, fearing being selected for the fight. The instructor feels ashamed as not a single student is willing to duel due to the vast difference in strength. Amidst the fear and trembling knees of the others, the instructor notices Lu Sheng boldly looking into his eyes, eagerly awaiting an opportunity to challenge Yifei and test his abilities. For a moment, even the instructor is shocked by the confidence brimming in Lu Sheng, unprecedented in the class until now. But today, Lu Sheng is determined to confront Yifei, having had enough. No one in the class supports Lu Sheng, fearing the inevitable defeat by Yifei. They worry he might end up injured or hospitalized. Even the instructor doubts if Lu Sheng can handle Yifei, despite sensing confidence in him. Lu Sheng and Yifei assume stances, preparing to fight. Yifei makes the first move, attempting to punch Lu Sheng in the face. However, Lu Sheng sees the punch in slow motion, easily dodging it and countering with a powerful punch that sends Yifei flying 10 feet into the crowd. Everyone, including the instructor, is shocked by the outcome. Lu Sheng remains composed, not breaking a sweat. Yifei is taken to the infirmary on a stretcher. 
Lu Sheng is shocked and a bit afraid, fearing he may have seriously injured Yi Fei. He apologizes, but the instructor is not worried about Yi Fei's condition. Instead, he wants to speak with Lu Sheng privately, amazed by his skill. He sees Lu Sheng as a prodigy and wants to ensure he doesn't lose him over a minor incident. The entire class is in disbelief, unable to comprehend how Lu Sheng, once considered a loser, could defeat Yi Fei so decisively. Just days ago, Lu Sheng had been mocked for his failures, having even failed the entrance exam twice. Lu Sheng strode out of the gym, his imposing figure casting a long shadow behind him as if to challenge anyone to catch up with his strength. Upon entering the instructor's cabin, Lu Sheng noticed a meticulously maintained bonsai tree position behind a combat strength measuring dummy. He mused to himself about the instructor's hobby of nurturing such beautiful plants. However, his thoughts were interrupted when the instructor confronted him questioning if Lu Sheng had used prohibited drugs to boost his vitality. The instructor warned of dire consequences, including permanent suspension and exclusion from joining the army, if such substances were found in his system. To assess Lu Sheng's vitality, the instructor utilized a device that measured one's health standard. Shockingly, the result showed a vitality level of 1.532, marking Lu Sheng as a genius martial artist at just 18 years old far exceeding the instructor's expectations. Next, it was time to test Lu Sheng's combat strength. Taking his stance before the mechanical dummy, Lu Sheng delivered a powerful blow that shattered the machine's head, sending it flying into the wall and destroying the bonsai in the process. The instructor was left stunned, with tears in his eyes, witnessing such incredible strength from a young student. As the instructor struggled to comprehend Lu Sheng's rapid growth, the latter revealed that he hailed from a normal family and had no ties to noble clans or grandmasters. The reason behind his phenomenal progress remained a secret. Reflecting on his own experiences during wartime, the instructor recognized the rare individuals capable of facing and defeating monsters with unimaginable strength, sensing that Lu Sheng might be one of them. After digesting the shocking revelations, the instructor offered Lu Sheng a promotion to the elite class, promising the best guidance from top instructors in the school. However, Lu Sheng expressed a preference for independent training and requested financial support and a flexible timetable. Understanding his needs, the instructor arranged for a special scholarship grant for 3,000 yuan which will take two to three days for approval and provided a temporary financial aid black card containing 100,000 yuan until the approval process was complete. Upon receiving the financial assistance, Lu Sheng was surprised by the generous amount on the card, realizing the instructor's confidence in his abilities. The instructor emphasized the importance of balancing studies with training to enhance the Baihe school's reputation in Baihe City. With this the chapter comes to a close. Don't miss out on the next installment. Hit that subscribe button and join us for the continuation of Lu Sheng's remarkable story.